The European Union is fighting against US sanctions that target Iran, being imposed after President Donald Trump scrapped the nuclear deal with Tehran. As the deadline for the first round of punitive measures does approach, the EU is enforcing special legislation in a bid to protect its businesses working with Iran. So let's get more details now from our Berlin correspondent, Peter Oliver. Uh, good afternoon again, Peter. Um, look, we do know, don't we, that the US and the EU are long-standing allies. So many people are asking, well, why are they so out of sync with each other on this issue? Well, this particular issue over the U.S.'s decision to pull out of the Iran nuclear deal has been the thorniest of issues between Brussels and Washington. We heard an almost tearful Federica Mogherini when she was describing her, uh, well, how much she didn't agree with what Donald Trump had to do when the decision was made earlier this year. She said it had been the result of years and years of diplomatic work to get to this point, and Donald Trump had, well, dismissed it all away. So what we are going to see is on Tuesday, the first round of uh, US sanctions against Iran will start to come back into play. Now, these will revolve around um, uh, restrictions on dealing with the US dollar. Also, restrictions on dealings on the metals markets, the global metals markets, including precious metals. Well, this has resulted in a statement from the High Representative for European Foreign Affairs, Federica Mogherini, backed up by the foreign ministers of the United Kingdom, uh, Germany and France, and they've given a resounding no to the U.S. decision. We are determined to protect European economic operators engaged in legitimate business with Iran. This is why the European Union's updated blocking statute enters into force on the 7th of August to protect EU companies doing legitimate business with Iran from the impact of U.S. extraterritorial sanctions. So what is the blocking statute? Well, it's a piece of legislation that was first uh, drawn up back in 1996. It was originally designed to get around a blockade of Cuba. Um, it was significantly rewritten earlier this year, though, specifically to deal with US sanctions against Iran. Ultimately, what it means is that um, European companies can disregard sanctions by foreign nations, namely the United States in this case, and also the rulings of courts in foreign countries will have no bearing on EU companies. But how that's put into practice, we still don't know how that will, uh, will take any form. What we do know, though, is that this news has been welcomed in Tehran. Today, the entire world has shown it disagrees with U.S. policies against Iran. Talk to anyone, anywhere in the world, and they will tell you that Netanyahu, Trump and bin Salman are isolated, not Iran. But that decision by Donald Trump to pull out of the 2015 Iran nuclear deal, it's proving to be a real tough issue between Washington and Brussels, and it's one that doesn't show any sign of going away, because although these sanctions are set to come in on Tuesday, we're expecting more, perhaps even much harsher sanctions to come in by the end of 2018. Yeah, it's definitely going to rumble on, isn't it, Peter? That was uh, Peter Oliver there for us in Berlin.